All right, guys, you can see our first activity is uh, swimming down the river, the Mayan River here. I picked that first because of uh, the location of it. You can see on the map here, there's a whole bunch of different places to go. There's the black line, the white line, the red line, the blue line, brown line. There's all these different. And if you follow the colored paths, you come across different events that you can see in different uh things that you can exhibits that you can uh, go to so this is a short map of uh, what it looks like it's just all over the place you have to follow the map in order to find out where you're going but first of all we were going to take a swim down the Mayan River here and uh, you put on a vest and I do have uh, swim shoes or sand shoes or whatever you call them so I was okay I didn't need flippers just above nose height when I'm standing, my height, uh, I can't touch the bottom uh, without my nose being below the level of the water. But it's quite a long journey. It's like uh, a good three quarters of an hour long swimming along this canal. There's a rope on the side where you can pull yourself along if you can't swim. And I don't know whether the water is actually moving or not. It must be. Uh, I didn't even really get to taste it, whether it was salty or not, but it must be salty also. And farther you go down, some places you're right underground, some places you're not. You can see the sky above, some places you can't. So this was a beautiful... And the reason I went to this first, when I first got there, is because there's over 50 different uh, things to do, events to see and things to, places to go. And you can't do that in one day, and I only had the one day. And I figured, well, I might as well go get wet in the beginning, finish that, and then I can, for the rest of the day, I could be dry and uh, watch the um, play at night. They, have a, uh, they had a play at night. I wanted to see that. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I was dry and what have you. So I went early, first thing first. And then uh, the rest of Eshkaret will coming up in the next few parts here guys so stay tuned don't miss out beautiful beautiful all right down through the tunnels and up on top, every, every once in a while, you can see people up on top pointing or uh, taking pictures. Or So the paths up on top are very close to uh, the river where you swim down. This is where they have the Mayan dance, which I posted uh, more than a month ago. You'll have to go looking for that. The Eshkaret Mayan dance. Mayan river dance might have been. I had my underwater camera too, by the way. You can see it's not a GoPro. It's a GoPro knockoff. It's a DJI Osmo action camera in a uh, waterproof housing. It is supposed to be waterproof, but I don't take a chance. I, I have a waterproof housing for it. So let's carry on. Okay, uh, somewhere up above they had the uh, stained glass ceiling and you can see that from down in the rivers down below <clears throat> and also from the pathways they have up above. So I'll have to try to edit the uh, footage best I can there. And as you can see, they have uh, 
areas up above where they have plays and uh, dances and things up above. And the river, like I said, it was about three quarters of an hour long, if not more. Very long. And now we're getting into the mangroves. I, I, you see the mangroves on TV or the internet and you see them and you say, holy smokes. But when you're there, <laughs> they are so thick and it must be the... What, what is the part you're seeing there? Is that roots or is that their trunk or... Very, very, very thick underwater, as you can see. It's just a good place for the fish, to, small fish, to hide in anyways. I was looking for fish. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw any. If I did, it might be on the video. I'll have to watch it, find out myself whether there was any actual fish there that I could see. Good thing there was no crocs there. <laughs> and then we'll have a look and see how we get to the end and get out of the water here. To me, it felt like it was hard to get out. It's like you were floating beforehand, and then you get out and your body is just heavy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, there will be more parts coming out. There are so many things to see and do that this is the first part. It's just the uh, swimming down the canal or the rivers, they call them. Uh, and I had to get that done first because um, I wanted to dry up and make sure I was dry for the rest of the day. And it's only, I was only there for the one day. So, And there's 50 different things to see and do. So come on along and we'll see what's next i don't know and we'll keep you posted uh in a couple of days i guess so stay tuned because it's a surprise